And it's something I've been thinking, you know, thinking about for quite a few years. Um, I mean, this has been certainly a, a, the start of this century and the last century have been a, centuries of war, centuries of conflict in, in many, many forms. Um, I suppose no matter what way it goes or who wins or who loses in this, um, what's left behind are the victims of conflict. Um, and I don't think that those stories are covered because they're not hot and they're not what they call sexy and they, and they haven't got legs. Um, um, you know, uh, and the images of, 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 of children and, uh, and widows and stuff like that, you know, um, sometimes, yeah, we do see them. But I don't think the backstory of these is, is covered at all. And as well as what would be classed as the victims of conflict. Um, the role of, of, of government and state and agency in the assistance and recovery of the ex combatant The guy who actually went and did the fight. It's, for me, it's always been sort of crazy that a government would be prepared to spend a hundred or two hundred or three hundred thousand dollars pounds making a soldier when they're not prepared to spend five thousand dollars or pounds in the unmaking of that soldier to return them to society. Um, we bring them in, we train them up, we eat them up and we spit them out. And this country has its share of veterans. Conflict countries around the world have their share of veterans or ex-combatants who aren't cared for. Um, and maybe one of the other big issues for me would be mental health. Not a comfortable subject to talk about at all. But I just have that feeling that uh, if for one year a government was to decide to take its underspend, the money that it had budgeted and hadn't used, and put it into one pool, and the following year use just that money to tackle the issue of mental health, I think in one year it would make a massive difference on that. Uh, community life and in neighborhoods and in attitudes. Um, yeah, it's a big, scary, almost untouchable issue. But we're quite prepared to deal with the consequences of people who the mental health system has failed. Very, very large proportion of the prison population are people with um, mental health issues. A large proportion of the people that we see on the streets, the homeless, the alcoholic, the drug user, are people with mental health issues. And uh, taking that slice of almost if they haven't used it, it's almost like it's unwanted money. And to be able to divert that into um, dealing, tackling the issue of mental health, I think would be something that would be worthwhile covering. 